Hey guys, my name is Sidiak and welcome back to another episode of Airport CEO, where today the expansions do continue. Last episode, guys, we managed to make ourselves very, very, very profitable right now. We've also included a brand new restaurante within the actual airport as well, which has made us, in terms of rent and revenue sales, um, 136000 that is a lot of sweet, sweet cash money moolah right now. Today, I want to extend it and uh, build a larger store next door to it as we continue the terminal. Uh, as we continue it, I might drop a couple of more small stands leading down. I also want to set up like a general aviation section too, because that's also a really, really nice way to kind of earn a little bit additional revenue. And it's all about trying to maximize the revenue that we have coming in within the airport right now to keep those expansions uh, coming. Now, if you are enjoying this series and want to see more, please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you are new in here, make sure you do subscribe so you're not notified when the next episode does come out. What I'm also kind of like kind of hyped about is what well, we finally got the baggage stuff in so they can stop screaming at me as well and not kind of complain about, you know, illegal items. Damn, they do get angry at me, boy. So if I take a look at the days so far, then uh, previous day we made 120,000 big ones. One of the things you'll notice is that the loan repayments is a little bit lower, and that's because we've officially paid back one of our loans. There's only 100,000 remaining on this last loan, which we're basically paying 3,300 an hour. Times that by 10, 33,000, uh, 68, 70, you know, about 70, 70 odd thousand a day that we have to pay for this loan. But I can get some more loans if we really need to because we are making some sweet, sweet cash. Now, we got flights being delayed, looking so damn crazy. Why are you, why are you complaining that this security make sure there's as experts of free walls and zones? What are you talking about right now? This whole place is secure. I have no idea what you are talking about. What is this? I don't know what to tell you. I really don't know what to tell you. But there's a few changes that I do want to make anyway. And we just got to make sure that everything is so damn efficient. So, let's jump straight into this then. So the first thing that will make me some sweet, sweet cash is building that additional store. So terminal-wise, we are... What is that right now? That is... It's a 10 all the way over. So if I build by another 10, which is going to cost me 70,000, I'll be able to replicate the same size, the same kind of stuff, uh, to be able to build a nice big storeroom. And then uh, I'll probably eventually just end up moving this, moving down to here, and get things rocking and rolling as well. I've got some ideas on how I can improve the security. I'm thinking about rotating them. So we have a line going down here and a line going down. I might be able to get a two additional security checkpoints in to really then alleviate the amount of people coming through. Because even though this is not bad, there's no issues with this. I just want to be able to pump people through a whole lot quicker. Also, we have moments where this becomes overwhelmed. I think we need more seating in this area as well. So much stuff, boys. So much stuff. So let's work on the seating first then. Large. We'll go for one there. Ooh, okay. Actually, we'll keep that little bit open just here. Like that. And we're also, as well, going to add in a door. So if I go for a large door, like there, it will allow me to bring the wall straight down so these guys are not entering back into this terminal and it keeps everybody pretty much separate. So wall-wise, bringing that straight down pretty much keeps these guys as separate as I can pretty much make them. I might even actually, as well, extend this slightly over. And then uh, add a few more seating in because there's a lot of people waiting at various times. And we also need to figure out a way and how we can kind of make the, the baggage come out a whole lot quicker too. Because they are waiting for quite some time. They are. Can we do like super speedy baggage? It would be pretty good, wouldn't it? Right, um, walls. Delete this wall. Um, we've got to delete these walls over here as well. Goodbye, walls. Goodbye. And the baggage area, baggage claim area, do I, how do I extend it and expand it? Can I just... Oh, I've got to delete the room, don't I? That's kind of what I have to do. Yeah. All right, delete the room real quick. I'm so sorry, guys, but I'm going to quickly pause it. Baggage claim. Go up to there right now. 
So then this, open it up, connect it to the baggage bay. There we go. So they're all going to now scream at me, Sadiac, what are you doing? But trust me, guys, it's for the greater good. Also, get rid of all those chairs. And let's see if I can do like a little bit of a better system. So if I had that one there, I can then, oh, I can pump them all in this direction. So one, 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 oh, one. There we go. Lot more, lots more chairs now in. And I'll drop a chair just there and there. So lots more chairs in right now, which they can all sit down and wait for their baggage. So that hopefully becomes a little bit more efficient. I don't know. Um, are these guys sitting down because they're waiting to check in? Meaning I might need some chairs around here. Probably. That's probably what they're trying to do right now. They're not waiting for their baggage, are they? No. No, they're not, Soniac. Right, where can I squeeze in some chairs around here? I mean, I don't really have much space or options or rooms. Oh, wait. Then again, I was going to change up this whole area here, wasn't I? So if I brought this wall across to there. Okay, I won't do a wall just there. So I can do like a, maybe like a little seating area here. Because we've really switched up the whole section. Uh, an employee can't find what right now? You just got to go out and then you're in. You know what I mean? Sometimes, guys, they they make me question life. They make me question life itself. Right, security area first or the store? Hmm. I think we'll build the store. Now, we do have this kind of like little pattern on the go right now that we've uh, roughly designed. Uh, we've got this type of floor, I believe it is. And it is a... 34 by 22 so a 34 by 22 would lead me to here for it being the exact same size which we'll we'll go with that and then for the da, 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 shops zone it the shop area so it's one shorter than the whole perimeter that we've built and then the checkout. I always forget which way they've got to go. So the sticky out bits are for the customers. And we'll start this over here. So one, two. Do you reckon two's enough? Should be enough, right? And then we get to build all the, all the tables and stuff then. So let's go then with the larger stuff to begin with. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. For, I'm trying to kind of make these nicer areas and then end each one with a circular one Nice, we're getting like, these little aisles for shopping and stuff like that Then we have then so they're the large ones then we have then what is classed as a medium Or a high dollar. No, it's a high dollar small, isn't it? Uh, this is a pedestal. We have wall mounted nice and basic I have no idea what a basic is. But apparently we need them. Okay. So basic, if I just do it like this. I have no idea where they're meant to go, what they're meant to do. I think they're just tables, right? Maybe. We have nice... Again, I have no idea. I probably got these the wrong way around. How do I cancel that one bit there? There we go. Yeah, I probably got these the wrong way around, so I don't know. I don't know anymore. No, it, I mean, it kind of looks fine. It kind of looks okay. And then we've got the wall mounted, which I don't have anything for the wall. But I think I need to get some of these in no matter what. So if I do four there and I've create this little kind of corridor. And then back these on. I don't know why I've gone right to the edge, but it should still look okay. And then these little pedestals. Right. Well, drop these going all the way up. And leave it like that. That is my store. Okay. That is going to be my store. So, 
hopefully I can get some big boy contracts because I feel like it's a decent size. It's got a lot of shelving and stuff in. We'll wait for them to get the rest of it all in right now. So this shows me that I do need to sort out the security. So that's going to be a big, big, big must to get all this changed. Right, they finished all this yet, guys? Come on. You're so close. You're so close right now. Oh, they're definitely using this to sit to wait for the banks. Do you think I should... Can I collect the bags before they go through the security area? Maybe that's what I should have had. It do. Yeah. I might change that in just a moment. Right, planes need to be delayed, apparently. Right, who can I get to sign a contract? So, Victoria's Secret. <laughs> we can sell underwear. Right, I don't care who it is. I just want a really, really big airport cut. So, so far, Victoria's Secret at 44%. 7-Eleven, Travelers, Flight... Ooh, 47%. 39. Oh, WH Smith, that's a store in the UK. Co-op, you're also a store in the UK. That 47%, what was it? Fly and go? Fly go? No, it's not you. No, pick and fly. Sign you, mate. That's almost 50% of everything that they sell. Genius. Absolutely genius. So, I'm going to redo this section here because I don't like them all sitting down on this. It's kind of going to annoy me. So, what I'll do, we'll quickly bulldoze that. The security area will bring down to... There. Make all this secure to there. Security wise, what's the one? How do they get out? Exit. Just here. So they exit that way. And then we'll just bring the wall up to there to kind of close it all off. Right, fast forward. I prob I'm going to kill the game off again right now. I'm going to literally kill off my airport. But um, I think this is better. Because it will stop people who are arriving going in here. Normally when you go to an airport, you collect your bags before you go through the, the last security exit checkpoint, don't you? So this kind of does make sense. This kind of does make sense. Right, continue the beautiful blue carpet. Um, I'm using light concrete for like the lighter kind of section. Which we'll do for all of this. We'll go around the perimeter one more. And I've been painting the chairs white. I don't know how if I like this or not. But there we go. La -di -da -di -da. So that should kind of solve things, he says. <laughs> we see how we see how we get along with that. Right, we've got to think about changing this up next as well. This is gonna be very, very interesting to get all set up. Cause obviously I also need to have people coming through still. Now, medium. Medium, I can do one, two, three. Oh, I can maybe potentially get four. It'll be a very, very narrow corridor that they all then walk through. But I might be able to get four. Nah, we'll stick it to three. That means it's an additional two. I mean, I can do three on this side to kind of create the entryway, and then four down here. So it'll be an extra three on top, wouldn't it? All right, we've got flights being delayed right now. Yeah. Right, do I have anything research right now? You know what? No, no, no delay flights. Am I researching anything at all? Um, floor construction permit. We've done that recently. Now, we do have that little mission where we got to get the remote stands set up. But we'll hold out for that for just a second. What's the ultimate commercial license? Handle 200 flights a day. You crazy? Uh, medium f uh, fuel depots. Um... Okay, I don't feel like we need big ones just yet. Baggage security, tilt trays, quality restaurant, uh, kitchen restaurants. Yo. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. I'm not sure we're quite ready for the larger aircraft. Oh, high-speed conveyor belts. That's That will be good. Because we, we, we are having, like, issues. Well, I say we're having issues. Let me fast forward to six. Um, sometimes some people are waiting ages for their baggage. So at least we can get all that sorted right now. So, staff. We're missing security officers, apparently. We've got a shortage of two. Janitors, we need more. Service technicians, we need more. 
but we're about to need a whole lot more very very soon see you i definitely need more security 100 percent need more security right now right when it, i mean i'm about to say when is there a quiet a period of time but the airport's 24 7 there is no quiet a period of time right now is there there isn't so i gotta delete two of these this is not gonna go great well, i'm not delaying any more flights Yikes. I think I need more security. To be honest with you, I could extend... Where am I going? See, I, mean, I could have bought this right against here. Or lead this out to there to extend this further over. Right, okay. Right, I, I got an idea. I don't know how well it's going to go. Security checkpoints. So, that is four wide. So, if I had the wall, four to there. So there, that's one, two, three, four, potentially five, but I can definitely do four. Hmm, I don't know if that's going to be worth it or not. I don't know if that's going to be worth it. Man, this is difficult. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm now going to risk it for the chocolate biscuit. I'm going to delete both of them. Right, basically what I was saying is, right, I could maybe potentially... Apparently structure is invalid. Oh, because I'm building on top of that. Makes sense. Makes sense. So, if I go to the security then. And these. If I had it... Which way does it go? That way. So, if I had it like there or made it... That's one, two, three four away right I gotta sort this out so if I went to there how is that for this that is one two three that's four away right so if I just can I, how do I delete the zones right delete you there for just a second I'm trying to work out the spacing so if I gave it a a free a four wide gap let me pause one two three perfectly four because i can then do a wall there as that becomes the entry point to go directly up once i built them i then flip around and do four there well it would be free because we need the walkway coming in so it means I gained an extra two security checkpoints, which is a big help. It is like a really, really big help. I can maybe extend back by one. Nah, I'm, at this point, then it's like, okay, you need to start thinking about building a bigger airport. But um, if, okay, so that's, we've gone up to there by 80, by four away. So four away, that's the 80. With the four there, with the four there, that is how our wall, or the wall, no, actually the wall's there. That's how the wall should be. All right, let's go. Let's get in doing all this. So the airport's going to struggle for just a second, but I'm just trying to fine tune. So we've gained an extra two there. Oh no, if I do three on the other side, I've gained an extra three. I do apologize. It'll be a three in total if I can get that third one in. So, wait for him to start building all of this. So, I've almost doubled the security capacity minus one. That's pretty good, right? So, security will get the wait their way over here right now. I'll delete these two, which will force everybody to get over to here and those securities guys to kind of move over to these ones. So, we then pretty much back to having our original four. Granted... Oh, hold on. Pause. Granted, we don't have them or give them the ability to queue up at the moment but that's not a problem and that is not a problem so security then i've killed off a lot of my uh, airport right now but it's okay so there is it's, it's by 12 12 and i believe it will go to here so security checkpoints one two 
free. Then with the terminal wall, we bring right down to there. See, it's a bit better, isn't it? So I'm definitely going to have to hire more security right now. Right, I don't want to delay any anybody else. So we're going to hire some security staff. I know this is a big mess, but eventually we'll get back on track. So hire, 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 hire. Reject all... Oh, I re rejected a good one then as well. Reject some of the weaker ones. Now, granted, I don't have the queues set up. But I'm just waiting. Okay, we'll hire you two. You're not the best. Oh, hire you. Yes, please. So now we officially got a fifth one open. There we go. We're getting somewhere, boys. We're getting somewhere. So an extra two on top of what I originally had. Hire two more. I'll hire a few more as well because we still have them, them security patrols, which I'm probably going to delete those lines very soon. So everyone's here right now, but I'll grab you, reject these two. And is it still security that I need? I've got 30 security officers, 28 jobs claimed. Right, that will be good for us. That will be good. So let's figure out then how I would do a queue system. So bring them down to here. Right, if I just bring it to there for now, because I need to figure out how far this is going to come out. So if I replicate the same thing. Like that. That's got... Is that the same? That's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It kind of is, but it's kind of like slightly backwards. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. It's just a little bit... Skewiff is probably the best way to put it. So yeah, by keeping that little middle point... It creates the little walkway coming through. So everyone can still get to where they need to get to. Oh, I didn't go fully over with that one. It kind of um, threw me off, that did. Can I redo this one? Right, so do that again. It threw me off. Right, I think that's how I need to do it. There we go. So we're getting some organization slowly coming in. Organization is slowly coming in. There we go. Do this one. Bam, ba bam, bam, bam. And then finally this one. This one I might be able to actually make it go a little bit further just because of it's the end one. No, I'll keep it to as it is. So you can't really see it much right now, but there we go. We got them queues all set up so everyone can then funnel them way through security a whole lot easier. Claiming baggage should be a whole lot easier soon. We'll have the faster baggage things as well. But I think everyone was complaining before because people were sitting here waiting to check into their flight and then the people waiting for their bags were then being forced to stand up because there was no available seats because they were taken by everybody waiting for their flight, which made them more furious. So I think we should be okay for a minute. What's going on here? Why is no one opening? From 4 till 12? Warning, sales will be cancelled if the target is not met within seven days. What's the issue? Why are they not open? Have I messed something up with them trying to get into the um, the airport right now? They should be open. It's a time where they should be open. Oh, I may have, might, might have messed it all up because of this. Might have to wait for the next day for them to respawn. 
Or I might need to reload the game because I have, like, crippled the airport quite badly. Um, but yeah, I've got a little bit of space over here right now for some chairs, some seating area. Which will allow people to kind of to sit and wait before their flight. So I don't know if I should be placing it down by security. But I'll drop another chair just there. And let's do for some smaller ones just here. There's a little bit of seating that people can sit and wait before they check in on their flight. Yeah. Good guy, Seniak. Good guy, Seniak. Right, great stuff. So we've got half a million in the bank right now. They're still not coming in. So I'm not too sure what's going down with those guys just yet. But um, things are going pretty sweet right now. Things are going pretty sweet. So it's a case of now I've got the, the funds to extend the terminal. Which will do so. Which will allow us then to kind of build a few additional smaller stands. But it does then mean I have to start reconfiguring a lot of this. Now the problem is, right, it's going to take a long time for vehicles to drive around to get to the baggage area. So I might need to build an additional baggage section. And that they can drop, drop the baggage off to. Now, could it, could I build it here now can, can you choose oh no ah that's the issue the fact that it's for medium aircraft only do these ah okay we have some issues there don't we so can i build a baggage bay here so ultimately i could if, right, and if, only if, if I move this further down. So the sticky out bits are at the back. So that could go here very easily. Or even push back by one. If I move that security checkpoint down by one. Which is what I'm going to do, obviously. So it does then mean reconfiguring the road. Which could also potentially mean I can extend the baggage claim area eventually in the future too. So if I get this sorted then, uh, we'll move it further down a bit more. Because I can build everything needed for the medium aircraft on this side. Or I might even as well guys, to be honest with you, get rid of all of this. And take us back to the ability where vehicles can drive down here. So we can access both sides of the airport without going around the actual terminal. That'll be like a really, really big help. So, right. Public road first. Public road I'm going to bring down to... Um, hmm. Actually, let me delete more of this. I'm going to move it right down. I'm going to move it right down. So, vehicle checkpoint. I want it to go about... Yeah, I'll put it there. There we go. So then, the public road. Then the service road will come right down to there. So we'll treat this road here coming into there, which is perfectly fine. Then we'll have the service road coming down. And I've got to do another vehicle checkpoint, don't I, on this side. So, service road will be this way. So, if I had that back here to how we originally had it, that won't be too bad. And then we'll go back to all the fencing stuff. So, you know, it's a fence gate. Fence... To there. And then the fence gate. Yeah. I'm going to refuse because I'm a bit too busy at the moment. I'm a bit too busy. I'm sorry. You need to crash land somewhere else. 
But that's a too wide gap. Did I do it right? Too wide? No, that, there we go. Yeah, I thought, I thought that was wrong then for a second. Oh, wait, hold on. Have I... Fence. Oh, yeah, okay. Right. I, I don't know what's going on. Right, that to there. Bringing that back up. Now, that will end here. But we also need to put the fence gate in. Which I'll put just there. Or we're going to connect the road. Why can I not connect the public road? Oh, no. Refuse! Have I done this wrong? I feel like... I think I've put service road down here, haven't I? Right, public road. There we go. Right, where is everybody? Oh, we got a cow stuck behind the fence. Come on, guys. I haven't given you that much work to do right now. There we go. Everyone should be connected. And we're back in business. So, from the get-go then, we'll build the terminal next. And that's where we house our baggage area just for these guys. And then this one, we'll switch it over for the smaller planes. I can't believe we don't have the smaller planes connected to baggage just yet. Then again, I don't think we could. But if we can, that'll be a big help. That'll be a real big help right now. But this is more important because it's closer and then the baggage vehicles haven't got to drive all the way around the long way. So we're fine-tuning everything right now. We are fine-tuning everything. So, the baggage side of things... Oh, hang on. We've first got to remove the entry. There we go. So, the baggage side of it, I need the baggage bay. So, we're just waiting right now. Time to get rid of the last few bits. Oh, we're not in a secure zone, are we? There we go. So, baggage, bay. It can literally go here, which is perfectly fine. And then, service road. Ooh. No, okay, I can't go that far. Because the terminal needs to be extended by one more. That's actually quite good, though, because then it means I can then build the, um, the door in for the... Um, Ramp agents, or whatever they're called right now. I know it doesn't line up right because of how the terminal is, but it is what it is at this point. Right, get rid of all of that. Uh, service road. We're now just waiting. Bam, ba bam, bam, bam. So a bit funky because I can't build over to it. So that's set up, ready to go. Just got to connect the baggage all to it. All right, let's get them to get rid of all of the walls in here as well. Work on that while we're waiting. So down below then, I've got to get these now connected. Now I kind of forget which is which. So the inlet needs to go on the right side which will be down here so baggage wise then the ramps convey about high speed yes boys let's do high speed high speed down will be for you there's a two gap so underground high speed up and that's how it works so down here high speed conveyor And then that connects us to the baggage bay. That's the easiest connection I've ever done in my life. But this is the next tricky bit right now. I need to get this connected down to here. So as it goes to there, I need to set something up that allow me to kind of send them in pretty much any direction that I want. Now, I don't have a, the ability to go left and right, left and right, left and right. So... How am I going to do this? 
is the question right now. How do I get it connected? The way I want to get it connected. Is there something that I can research maybe for like advanced baggage stuff? High speed conveyor is now done. Amazing. Tilt tray, is that the one I want? Unlocks tilt tray to control the routing of passenger bag. That's what I need. The tilt tray. Okay, we'll hold out for that. Actually, we'll hold out for it. But we'll get the high speed baggage conveyor belt in place. So what I could do is, what will be quicker, to route them around this way or around that way? Okay, probably this way. So if I bring that to there, straight, oh no, down. Alright, it is what it is. There we go. So I put like a tilt tray here where it can go that way or this way up and round. But at least the conveyor belts are going to be all in for when I need them. So that's going to be good. So we'll hold out for that for just a second. Ooh, damn. We're getting... Things are becoming more efficient now, boys, aren't they? Things are becoming more efficient. Right, blue carpet to cover the whole terminal. I've also got to make the whole terminal a secure area. Oh, that's why! That's why they can't... Oh, I'm so dumb! That's why they're not working. Because it's not in a freaking secure area. I, I, I apologize, guys. Now I've got to sign a new contract. I do apologize. 50%. I'll take you. I'm so sorry. So, so sorry right now. I'm not sorry. Secretly, I'm not sorry. But I am sorry, guys. Um, right, great stuff. So, if I pause connect you to there okay it's handling a flight right now can't do much about it but I've got the second one connected if I can get these all connected to baggage then oh that means then they're all gonna go to these making these redundant hmm is that a good idea yeah it will be fine it will be fine I think Right, I'm just waiting for the one, some of these planes to now go. <clears throat> so I'm getting more connected to the baggage area. Right, you. Connect to baggage bay. Boom. So two and five are now done. Two and five complete. Alright, they're now about to get onto the plane. They're getting onto the plane as well. So we should be able to do these very soon. So now we can start charging for baggage here, but I'm going to need so many more baggage carts. I don't know. Life becomes so expensive at times. Right, you're... Oh, no. 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 No, okay. Is it because the plane just landed? No. Boom, you're connected. So it's one and three. Because planes are already landing. Damn it. Right, we'll come back to them. At least we know. At least we are fully well aware. And understand. Uh, that we still need to get those ones connected right now. Now for the R&D, we're pretty much halfway. So we've still got a little bit of a way to go right now. Um, finally got the store in. So it's going to start generating us money. And be here for the long haul. Uh, but let's start to get some seat in him. So, how far does this seating stick out? It does stick out quite far. If I go it this way instead. If I did a space there and a space there. Bam. 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 And then bam. Bam. So, seats either side. So, at least these guys can sit down and wait before they do get on the plane. That will be kind of, a, again, another big help for them. Right, can't do anything until them tilt trays have been researched. This is going to be an issue right now for when we got the larger aircraft coming in hot and heavy. Can I connect you? No. That plane's just left. Can I connect you? No. No. 
No. The plane's just landed. Damn it. I'm too slow. I'm way too slow. But it's okay. We get in there. We are getting there. Slowly. Slowly, he says. Slowly. Uh, things are looking good. Despite what's happening, things are still looking good. All right, paint these white. Now, you can't build queue systems, can you? I'm not sure what you're meant to do about this. But it would be nice if you can build a queue system. It really would. Right, planes are leaving. Are we done this yet? Come on, I just want to get his tilt tray all connected. So while we're waiting for that then, what else can we get set up? So we know we're going to have to move some of these um, parking bays right now. And, oh, the fuel loader too. Do I get a second one? I'm oh, drinking out we're pushing it too far. Right, okay, so vehicle parking or vehicle depot. 20 service vehicles or 7. Vehicle depot is the one. How much is it? 10,000 versus what? For oh my goodness me, 4,000. Right. One. For 20 there. For 20 there. I can then delete these. These two at least anyway. Slowly get things moving. So wait for those to be built. We're now on. Oh, tilt tray's done. By the way, guys. Tilt tray's done. Let's get back down below. So, tilt tray on the scene. Where are you, boys? Tilt tray. So, it means I can push it in ultimately two directions. So, I've marked for you for deletion. High speed conveyor belt. We'll go this way. Turn that way. And then we're just waiting for that tilt tray, which will go this way. There we go. And the baggage should be all connected. We'll come back to that to double check it. But that's in, that's in. So I can then delete you. I can then delete you. And I'll go to them little kind of vehicle depots that can hold up to... So that's like both of them together. That's 40 vehicles. I don't know if I have 40 vehicles. That does seem like quite a lot. Now the fueling can stay there. Because I can't really build airport gates against the stores. So then they'll go there. So that can stay there for now. But I've now got these little kind of shortcut, well, I say shortcut routes, but like we've divided it nice and evenly. All I've got to now do is decide once the um, the baggage hopefully all connected, which we'll take a quick look. So that, so yeah, can turn, going down, going down, bam, 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 round. This is out into there. Should yeah, that should be all good. It should be all good. So I should then be able to go, yo, you know what? This stand, you're here instead. This stand, okay, there's a flight coming. You're here instead. This stand, oh, there's a flight coming. So we can slowly switch them all over right now to the more localized areas. Oh, which does mean, hang on, I've got to then open this up. Wait, I can't open it. Why? Uh, can I be open because catch the aircraft stand uh, and checking baggage? Wait, hold on. Oh, do I need to connect these to it as well? Aha! Right, this is. I'm gonna make everything now. Flip its lid. Right, you to there. You to there. So I've got four stands for these four. And then the other four can be for all the small ones. Yikes. This is I'm gonna i I'm gonna this is gonna slowly break my airport, isn't it? It really is. Right, they're now going. Connected. So it's just this one here. That needs to be connected to these two still they haven't even got done yet mate so who's gonna who's gonna move first 
Who is going to move first out of these three? I feel like I've, I've literally crippled and broken my airport. For all the stuff that I've changed recently. Right, they're now loading up. You're now going. Right, pause. Bam. Connected. There's just two more remaining. There's now two more remaining. Come on. Right, boom. Pause. Just one left. So that is now connected to all of these. Oh, wait, hang on. Hold on. I've also got a... Oh, you can only get it connected to one? Baggage area? Yikes. The expansions continue. So it's, it's open, but it's disabled. I didn't realize you can only have it, you gotta have it connected to one or the other. You can't do, like, you can't have them both connected to it. Well, that's messed us up even more, hasn't it? Um, right, okay, so. Delete this wall. Delete that bit. Delete these two chairs. Walls will get you back in. Um, zones make you secure again. I'm going to make you secure as well. Right, bam. Bam, there we go. So another baggage claim area right next door. Literally right next door. Um, all right, normal conveyor here. So we'll go. No, we'll keep going. Nice and simple. Nice and simple. And then down the floor. Where we'll then get the escalator up. Which I suppose it doesn't really matter where I put it. Yeah. We then need to get the thing going straight in. But then down here, I've got to redirect that. So all this now gets deleted. And then the baggage system, which is all high speed on this one because we're, we're, we're so advanced right now, boys. It's unbelievable. Right, bring it to there. Straight down. Oh, I could have just left them, them two in. Right, that should then work. So, pop popping back up. This area to there. Open. Shazam. I'm hoping everything's all now connected. But that extends the baggage area anyway. we now got, like, two baggage areas in a way. So we can really spread out the amount of, um... Capacity that we've got. Demand, whatever you want to call it. It's all there. So, is it all up and running? I mean, yeah, it looks like it'll all be good to go. Only time will tell. But we'll see. I actually don't even know if that baggage area is working yet. I haven't really paid attention to it much. But them four are connected. Those five are connected. I think we're back up and running. We're A-OK. -okay. What's going on with these guys here? Are you guys okay? I know there's a door there. I can, I've just broken the airport so much. Nobody even knows what's going on anymore. Nobody even knows. But I've got half a million in the bank though. So that's pretty good. That is pretty good. So yeah. Them four are connected to that. Everything else is connected to that. But I need more... Is it ramp agents? I need more janitors. But I definitely need... Is it ramp I think it is ramp agents, right? Um, ramp agent. It will be. So hire a couple more of these. I'll even hire the orange ones. There we go. So that should see us through slightly. 
I want to see a plane coming in. And I want to see how the baggage is going to work. So you got to wait for someone to check in first, don't you? So no baggage getting off the plane because i kind of broken it. Alright, we got to wait for a flight to check in. So many issues. I've broken the airport so much. It, it, it will all be sold if I just kind of reloaded. Any of these putting bags on? Or have I got to wait for the next day? Because obviously I broke the baggage system. I might have to wait for the next day. But that's fine. That is fine. I don't mind. I don't mind too much because we're rocking and rolling. So fueling services are over there. I feel like we're going to need another fueling service over this side. Um, oh, or do I... I say, do I research the bigger one? Hang on, where's my fueling stuff? It's to do with this, isn't it? So, Avgas, small jet... Okay, so we need this one over here. And then we'll delete that one there. So our fuel vehicles are coming over on this side where the medium planes are. That's very important that we do it like this. So, I feel like I need to reload my game just to fix everything. And then we're back up and running. So, there's 20 spaces available. There's only two available in there. <laughs> so, I could delete that, but I'm not going to just yet. So, deleting that then, so we got it over here. So, we're forcing our larger fuel trucks to refuel over here where the larger planes are, or the medium planes in this case. Security officers, jobs available, 15, jobs claimed. Well, we need so many more security officers. Security officer. That was quite a few decent ones there we've just hired. Ramp agents. We got a shortage of ramp agents, boys? I mean, I knew we would, because we've got so many more planes going on. There we go. More staff coming in the airport right now, boys. More staff coming in. So I think things are looking up. We've done pretty well. We've done pretty well to a certain extent. So we might have to wait for the next day then for the actual baggage to start working again because I deleted it all. I changed everybody up. So that's going to be a bit of a mishmash from the get-go. But we now have all the medium aircraft on this baggage area. We have the fuel depot down here, the the the, um, the normal depot, all on this side, which kind of helps us out. I might need to get some more vehicles at some point. Uh, all the smaller aircraft can now also do baggage from over this side. Again, we kind of have to wait for the next day for it to kind of be refreshed. But because I've got all these doing baggage, I'm probably going to need some more baggage trucks, which is very, very important. We've got a store set up right now, which is generating me some decent revenue. I just got to pull more people in. So that's now up to a quarter of a million. But these guys have been here from the get-go, from day dot. So it's just a case of these will also eventually give me all the big bucks as time goes on. i got to get rid of this store as well. But we got to bring more passengers in. Once more passengers start coming down, funneling down this way when we get the other stands in as well, then we'll get more money making for the store. Um, it's going to work out for us, mate. It's going to work out for us really, really well. So, yeah. I think I wanted to get the uh, the, the, the kind of uh, aviation, general aviation in. We'll probably do that next episode, as well as the car park. I really want to get that into as well. So that will be all next episode stuff. But now we've got half a million in the bank, we can then start to fine-tune how we make money. Like the catering services, the de-icing services, the cleaning services. And then once we've got a couple of million in the bank then that's when we'll kind of completely delete this airport and then start to build our big boy international hub. It's going to be amazing, boys. It's going to be amazing. And I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. But until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good.